The Bayou State, and today does mark one month since Hurricane Ida made landfall in southeast Louisiana. Take a look at that. There is still devastation. Thousands are still without homes, still without basic necessities. News Nation's Neil Zerang from our station KLFY is live for us tonight. So, Neil, tell us how is the recovery going? We still see so much devastation behind you. That's right, Nicole. The lot of people are now gutting their homes. They received roof damage from the strong winds of Hurricane Ida, as well as the floods that came in afterward. The rain maybe didn't raise up in their homes, but it came through the roof. That's why you see sheetrock insulation. Of course, the strong winds bringing down lots of trees. Uh, if you want to look down the road, my photographer Elwood will show you some people are even living in tents if they don't have a trailer to stay in. Sometimes that's because their house is filled with uh, mold and mildew and they just can't breathe safely in it. Other cases, that's because people are have homes that are completely destroyed and they have family staying with them. We have seen a lot of progress in the last month in Homa, though. There has been power restored. Water has been restored to most areas. Today was the first day that some children in Terrebonne Parish returned to the classroom. I got a chance to speak with people who are recovering every day. They say is getting a little bit better. It's still hard to get a hot meal. Uh, you know, you can't put it on your stove. So thankfully, a lot of nonprofits are here, but it still doesn't feel quite like home. They say it's not knowing when. You know, having a timeline because everyone within our community is in need and we all need the same things, whether it's tarping or a roof or um, water mitigation, uh, a rebuild. You know, it's kind of like that unknown of not knowing when we'll be able to get back to some sort of normalcy. You know, that kind of like uh, displaced feeling, really. This community's emergency operations center is keeping very busy. They did speak to FEMA today as well as the Red Cross trying to get those trailers in so that the people who are having to live in these dangerous situations or looking for a hotel that's already full or possibly damaged have a place to stay. Reporting live in Homa, Niels Rang, back to you, Nicole. Yeah, that not knowing certainly something we can all empathize with. Neil, thank you for that.